If you are an email developer or thinking of becoming an email developer, this is one of those tools that you need to have on your bookmarks. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, email development, it's not as easy as most people think. You actually need to be able to create emails that look good in a bunch of different type of email clients. Now, there's a tool out here called can I email Dot com and this tool is completely free and what it does is it basically allows you to search which type of CSS properties you can actually use on an email so I'm gonna show you guys right now how this will work for you guys now here you go guys can I email.com I suggest you guys bookmark this website if you are an email developer or becoming one because there's a lot of cool things that come with this website now not only do they constantly give you updates on what's happening in the industry and what new things are actually added as far as support for email development but you also have things like news and you could actually search by different features so in here you have the main website right which is a page and you can search for any type of html tag or css property that you can actually use on your emails but you can also go here and search for different type of features you can see like for amp for email bimi right you have all the different type of css properties that you can have all the html tags and then from there you also have different news and updates so you could see exactly like hey these are the things that have been added to different type of email clients so let's go over here and actually search for something like flex right and let's see what's available for us as far as the flex uh, css properties so in here we see that align items right is supported by about 58 percent of email clients so as you can see you have apple mails actually supporting all of them so if you are using mac os or ios for apple email right and maybe your clients the customers they're focusing on this platform guess what they pretty much support all of them as far as you know flexbox right um but in here you can see gmail doesn't support it at all okay you could also see outlook you could see yahoo mail aol you have samsung email Thunderbird, uh, Proton email, Fastmail, uh, Hey, uh, you also have Orange, Low Punch, SFR, GMX, One in One, Mail.ru, Web.de. So you have a, a lot of different clients that you could pretty much get information of what's available. And that's what, like what I always tell you guys. Email, it seems easy because it's just HTML, CSS, but how do you go in and create an email that actually goes and looks good in every single type of email client? This is where this tool becomes useful because you can actually say, well, I just want to go in and use divs and I just want to go in and use Flexbox and align everything. But guess what? If you need to send out this email for everyone, it's not going to work. OK, this is why it's so important to always use tables uh, for most of the cases. Now, again, you can see in here that you have display flex is available in some of them flex direction, right? Uh, justify content. Of course, let's go into something like this. Let's see the different tags that you can use. I say form. So sometimes they allow you to submit forms on some emails, right? But as you can see, not every single one of them allows you to do that okay so it's a great tool because like i said it just allows you to see what's available within the platform okay because guess what you just can't send out an email that only works for half of the people half of the audience if i want to send out an email and i need to get information or let's say i have a form that i need to get submitted guess what having an input type checkbox might not work for half of the people here okay so again this is a great tool just to let you know hey this might not work on that platform now of course you have amp for email and you can see in here all of the different platforms that do allow amp for email okay as far as rendering but as you can see not every single one of them allows you to use amp 
all right so yeah there's a lot of cool features in here and i would definitely recommend for every single one of you guys to go in and check this out because like i said if you are going to become an email developer you're going to need somewhere to reference to see which one is the best client right so it seems like as far as the scoreboard the best email client is apple mail for mac os okay just the native application it pretty much supports almost everything all right but it definitely does not support certain things like you see and for email it's not supported hdr images not supported uh, media orientation eh, it's a partially supported right so it does give you a lot of information so you can prepare your emails the proper way and make sure that they deliver and look good for every single type of email client now, now guys for those of you guys that are interested in learning about email development guess what guys we are dropping a brand new course for email development how to do it in 2025 we're going to show you how to do responsive and hybrid emails that's going to look good in every single platform on top of that i'm going to be giving you guys all of my ai tools that help me build emails fairly quickly okay so if this is something that you guys are interested definitely check out the links in the description right now. Okay, we have a 50% off on codingphase.com. You get access to all of the courses that we have on the platform. You get access to me so I could coach you and help you out in this process of actually getting into the industry. We even search for job opportunities for you and basically give it to you in your hands. So not only do you get the courses, but you also get the portfolio reviews and also to everything that comes with codingphase.com. If you haven't checked out the website, click the link in the description and literally get that 50% off. All right. You could basically get the yearly access for codingphase.com for 50 cents a day. Okay. We're talking about 50 cents, almost nothing. All right. And on top of that, if you want to do the monthly pay as you go, that's fine. You're basically paying $1.45 a day and basically you get access to all of our services and all of our courses. Of course, I'm always going to recommend for you to save some money and sign up for the yearly subscription. Now, guys, listen, show me some love in the comment section. I want to see some comments there. I read through every single comment. All right. So I want to see what you guys have to say about this video. Are you guys are planning on using this tool? How many of you guys are interested in becoming email developers or how many of you guys already work as email developers? I want to see it in the comment section. All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye.